Hello guys, welcome back. This is your boy Gary Adam Slink. I hope you guys are doing okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome back again. And please try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on all social media platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Adam Slink me that means you subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime, any day I upload. And meanwhile, in this video, I'll be discussing many many things guys and uh, one of those reasons i will be looking at is about rosie who recently gave her own side of the story on why she decided to marry church hill uh to the dks husband and what happened and uh of course a lot of people have mixed reaction some are supporting her now that she has come outside to explain and meanwhile others still think that she doesn't need to explain anything that she should just take the shame and walk away and also I'll be discussing uh Bobrisky issue with her boyfriend. And you know some of you will be like, I don't think it's about time you stop promoting Bob Brisky. I am not promoting Bob Brisky. When Bob Brisky is on the news, I'm gonna talk about it. And in fact, my videos are packed. When you check my videos, hmm, something inside must interest you. It's not I see if everything will, will be interesting to you. So just find what is what you are looking for because I talk about politics, relationship, celebrities what is happening about life and quotes majorly from instagram from uh, celebrity quotes advice on twitter all those kind of stuff i talk about everything so something inside my video will definitely interest you so the first thing i'm going to start talking about in this video is skin color and this is coming from a girl who recently she's that skin and uh, she said that society don't allow her to be proud of her whole skin she said her name is mariam bestie Sule. she said i'm very uncomfortable in my own skin i edit my video lighter than my skin color because of how the society makes me feel about it a lot of time i called a lot of time i was called different names as joke but I noticed I was actually affected by it. The ridiculous jokes of blackboard or color of their black shirt or you are too black, I can't give birth to a black child. I, listen, I can't give birth to a black child. <laughs> this girl who is dark skin color is saying that she can't give birth to a black child. I have gotten rejected for job because of my skin color. Oh, it's bad and got insulted jokily. Stop saying hurtful things to black women under the disguise of joke because they are colorist statement and you are a colorist. Black is beautiful and I've learned to love it and you will respect it. Black is beautiful and deserve to be in all shows. Thank you for that last statement, this girl. And uh, meanwhile, I've seen someone who recently told me that, see, she want to have light skin color, just like this Instagram post. You know, see baby, oh, she's so beautiful, simply because that baby is light skin. This latest one will be that. And if you check their skin, they are dark. When are we guys who are dark skin gonna, like people gonna uh, appreciate us? It's not as if I'm entirely dark skin, but I refer to myself as dark skin. And I love my skin. I want to be dark, in fact. So when, when, then what I told the girl was that, man, you better start searching for a very, very light-skinned boy out there. If not, you're gonna give birth to black-skinned children. She will say, no, 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 no. I don't like black skin, but you are black. <laughs> you are black. No, oh, sorry for using black. You are dark-skinned girl. How do you expect to give birth to a light skin child except if you go looking for every light skin guy out there man please appreciate the color that you have seriously appreciate it appreciate it guys appreciate it hmm? and uh, of course uh, let's move over to Bob Risky. Bob Risky recently shared a video some times ago about uh when she was uh, he, sorry he was kissing his uh, leslie boyfriend on valentine day and i said i know the person well uh before i could tell some people have already dig out the picture of this guy and apparently the guy is dope fella 
McDreamy on, on Instagram. I know some of you will be wondering, like, come on, man. You didn't knock Bob Risky. That whole, come on. All this kind of stuff. But uh, at the same time, uh, <laughs> though, for me, I think it's something like a publicity stunt, so this kind of stuff. But uh, they're celebrating it on Valentine's Day and they are chilling together, grabbing Bob Risky boobs. Come on, man. Well, I don't want to say so much about it, and uh, I don't want to go to rosy issue f uh, now. I will go it, uh, in the middle of this video. That is when I will be st talking about rosy and to DK issue. This senator, Akinyelo, Akinyelo, said bankers, banks are turning female marketers to sexual slaves. The senator on Thursday considered a bill seeking to stop employers in the private and public sector from engaging employable Nigeria graduate as casual workers. The prohibition of the, of the bill 2020 was sponsored by Senator Ayo. He said Nigeria graduates in the Nigeria labor market has become the subject of concern. He said more work has continued to grow under the immoral strategy of cutting costs by employing rendering themselves inferior to their counterparts in other countries of the world. Akira was, uh, he said, let me just read what he said. He said, in the banking and uh, insurance industry, for instance, many young graduates, particularly females, are employed as marketers and given unrealistic customer deposit targets. Running into millions, they are hired and fired at when such unrealistic targets are not met. The female among them are so desperate in keeping their job, turn to halloritry and sex slavery. They move from one office to the other looking for invisible customers who have large phone to enable them meet their targets. Crazy! And we all know it's true. See, this is what we want our Senate to be doing. This man now want to is sponsoring a bill that will stop uh, bankers, private sector from uh, employing casual workers because the casual workers should can just decide to just uh, to just uh, sack anytime. You will employ bankers. You will give them target that you know quite all right. It's unrealistic. There's no way they're going to meet that target. And you want them to start moving from office to office looking for people who have billions, millions in their account. You are wicked. See, those people are... You guys are really, really wicked. You bank managers. You are wicked. And this real wickedness will go down drain to, to, to you and your children. You are wicked, though. Seriously wicked. I go to bank. I see them. You guys, you guys see all those girls now. Those one are confirmed. Some of them are confirmed on low show. Seriously, confirmed on low show. It's not as if they choose that, but it's a system. It's what, it's what the system allows. It's what the system allows. It's crazy. It's crazy, huh? Is the customer deposit not enough for you guys? Customer deposit not enough for you guys. It's enough. There's this girl I know who was formerly a cashier. She was glowing, very, very fine. And then a few years ago, I heard that she has been transferred to marketing. When I went there, this girl does shrink. Shrink. Simply because she's not that girl that goes out there to start begging. As you know, those men now, those dubious men out there, by the time you start begging them, they will have they, will, they want something in return. So she doesn't usually get all those big, big jobs. Because of where all this think is a string. Come on, you guys are a string. I like what this senator is trying to do, but we already know that in this country, anything good doesn't pass. But I pray this one pass. And I'm hoping it's passed and there has been a first. And then now let's talk about Rosie and Todo Dike. Recently, Rosie gave his own explanation about what is happening between her, Todo Dike, and Churchill. So let's take time to watch what she has to say. Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing great and I hope you're having an absolutely beautiful day. Um, I just wanted to address something real quick. I mean, on a normal day, I wouldn't come out to say anything, 
but there are one or two very important facts that I need to share with you guys. Firstly, I was never, ever a personal assistant to Mr. Churchill. I mean, he did have a personal assistant, but her name was never Rosalind Mira. Secondly, I, Rosalind Mira, have never, ever been friends with any of Mr. Churchill's exes, not to talk of being best friends with any of them. I have never met any of his exes except one, which was, I mean, merely an acquaintance. Mr. Churchill introduced my siblings and I to her as his family, and aside that day, we have no personal relationship, no connection. That was the only day that we were in the same space together. So moving on, I did say that Mr. Churchill was like a brother to me, but he's not my blood. My mother didn't give birth to him. Mr. Churchill and I, we don't share the same father. That statement, he is like a brother to me, simply meant he is family. Mr. Churchill has always been there for my family and I, and he has always been that way. I mean, was I ever attracted to him or have I ever looked at him in any other way? No. Was he ever attracted to me? Who knows? But I mean, that's not something I have control over. I was in a relationship. I was happy. A relationship that went sour due to the banter online when... um. Some accusations were made. I mean, did I kill myself? No. <laughs> I moved on. Life goes on. Mr. Churchill's failed marriage has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. The same way you guys read and heard online that I was the reason for his broken marriage was the same way I read and heard online that I was the reason for his broken marriage. Before then, I mean, I never knew that the relationship I had with him before he got married was a problem after he got married. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> No one confronted me. I was never aware of any of such. Whatever it is that happened in his marriage, I had no knowledge of at all. The same way you guys read online what happened was how I read online what happened. I mean, I knew him. Why would I wait for him to get married and then start playing hide and seek? It doesn't make sense. After Mr. Churchill got married, things were still the same. He was still there for my family and I. He would take my siblings and I out. I would invite friends, male, female. He never had a problem with it. We would have so much fun. And I mean, when it was time to work, we would work. I'm not a lazy youth. I have goals. I have aims. I have an ambition. I have things that I want to achieve in life. Mr. Churchill made that possible for me. He exposed me to a lot of opportunities and I am forever grateful. So when it came to work, it was always work. You would see us places, and that's because throughout me going around with him, his foundation and other stuff, I was learning the process. It had nothing to do with intimacy. It had nothing to do with me following him because I liked him. Mm -mm. I did like him, but like I said, like a brother, family. After his marriage crisis and after he got divorced, I mean, I was still there. I never left. I mean, why would accusations and um, people talking make me leave? Leave to where? I never left. I never abandoned him. Obviously, he was a different person. Not much fun. <laughs> Not the normal fun, bubbly Mr. Churchill that we used to play with and we used to know. Um, you would see that he was just off, devastated, broken. I don't know, frustrated. Um... His mind was never there. Obviously, you could tell that he had stuff on his mind, but I mean, it was what it was. Gradually, days passed, months passed, years passed. Life took its course. Destiny happened. So, um, what I was accused of became my reality and my fate. I mean, what would be would be. You cannot change it. You cannot force it. I am not God. I mean, it just happened. I let God's will take place in my life. I never forced myself on him. I mean, it just happened that he became more than a brother. He became a lifetime partner. And um, I just really needed you guys to hear this. Every malam with his kettle, one man's curse is another man's blessing. Life happens. I know you guys have opinions which you're... Um, 
definitely entitled to but i just want you guys to know that your opinions they don't change me they don't take anything away from me they don't change god's will in my life they don't take away my glory i'm always going to be me so you guys just remain positive your own blessings and happiness will definitely locate you guys i love you guys regardless stay blessed and have a beautiful day just uh spoke and uh what i can take in this is that though she was writing some of my she lied also you cannot say you don't know exactly what went wrong with church hill when the dj was coming out interviewing in the interview saying you particularly are destroying his uh ah, 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 home you, you oh, come on now no lie it's like that now but at the same time she said that uh life happens well you happen because at the end of the day we have choice we have choice god has given us choice pastor this way you see this pastor this way you see this and also is she said they're going to live happily ever after a uh, life partner she, she she referred to churchy and churchy as a life partner well guys uh you don't know about that because church hill being the church hill according to how people have narrated him churchy has uh his first marriage he has a daughter and uh, she he has bundled according to that wife he had bad on the daughter then now his son is not catering for the son and now you well let's check if you can change him you know anything can happen and meanwhile tell me exactly what you feel about this whole confession and uh, of course like i've said Tony Dickey has moved on Tony Dickey doesn't even care about this whole stuff anymore that is what i can say so as long as she doesn't care then i don't think any of her fans should ever be worried about this and this guy said Many Nigerians don't respect you until they think you have money. Was at the bank to complain about 15k POS dispute. And the customer rep spoke to me like I was there to beg until she also saw my dumb account. We need to do better as a people because everyone deserves respect, of course. It happens everywhere in Nigeria. Yeah? When you want to make complaint of uh, 1,000 error or small amount, they will start using you and you are uh, using you anyhow, asking you some dumb questions. Dumb questions. We all deserve respect. I'm just saying this majorly in banks. It's my money, even though it's 500, 500 naira, it's my money. And as a banker, you guys are collecting charges. You must attend to me well. And of course, our uh, Casey brother. Hmm? Casey brother in money celebrating his birthday bought exotic cars for his friends bought cars so now me they celebrate birthday now me cause they gift people man brother when will i have this kind of friends now oh see all my friends that i have now please you guys better make money on so that you know i can be so proud to be like yeah i have a friend who just recently bought me a car i watched a video the other day a guy gift his male friend the car gift to i'm like wow how loyal can this guy be i'm looking for that kind of loyal guy a loyal friend that can go go any length with me i know some of you won't be completely honest about this but uh have you ever been to an hotel and you and when you are leaving the next money or anytime you're leaving you carry something like towel soap or anything that belongs to the hotel well i've done that severally I have even carried what I have carried is a shower, the rubber one, and uh, of course I carry shampoo one, one time. I will have one shampoo in my bath that I carried recently, not long. And the meanwhile, Danny Walter, this is what he said with somebody he said, I of the towels in my house are from hotels I slept in. I won't pay 50k a night and you expect me to carry to not to expect me not to carry towel. If it's more than 50k, I carry the water heater. Then the same mother responded, say, I don't mean so. The only cream and lotion for bathroom where I carry for a cool hotel. I for carry the fine towel and bed sheet joined with the kettle for boiling water. Make my daughter not see this strange or more. Then she see me saw it, threatening that uh, she will delete her mom's Twitter account. But uh, though that's joke. Let us be frank. Have you ever carried something belonging to an hotel before? Leave a comment below, guys. Don't lie. Oh, me, 
I don't carry it, but not towel. I've never carried towel or anything like shampoo at shower is what I usually carry because uh, I need that closely. And of course, uh, to end this video, is this statement true? This lady said, Why be say people when wicked weller? Nah, then they go church pass. Why is it that people who go to church the most are the most wicked set of people? Is that true? Is that statement true? And uh, meanwhile, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, Gay Adam's link. Don't forget to like this video, comment, share it on all social media platform. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam's Link Media. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime I upload. And meanwhile, check out my other YouTube channel, Original Ninja Boy, and uh, Simply Ninja Boy. And meanwhile, it's in the description below. The link is in the description below. Bye, guys.